Shopping on the internet is a common thing nowadays. There are numerous websites online from where you can buy various stuff, ranging from cool gadgets to even elephant poop. So, all the e-commerce websites on the internet sell different products to their customers. All these websites accept payments through a payment gateway. A payment gateway is basically a mediator between the seller and the buyer. You want to buy something on a website, you click on the buy now button and you will be redirected to a payment gateway website where you need to finish making your payment. And once the payment is done, you will be redirected back to the seller's websites and the status of your order will be shown on the seller's websites. But there are things that the sellers on the internet need to be really careful about. Since all the process of buying online is nothing but a computer program, it can be easily cheated by making use of faults in the programming. These faults can be utilized to cause lots of damage to the seller. For example, if not properly and if not securely programmed, one can use a flaw in the seller's website to buy an item which costs, let's say, 1000 bucks by just paying one buck. Now imagine how big a damage is that for the seller. I'll explain that in a little more detail. If you look at any website closely, they are programmed to send data to their respective web servers and receive data from the same. When you click the buy now button, the button is programmed to send some set of data like the item name, item ID, its price, the quantity, etc. to the web server so that the web server knows what item you're trying to buy. So when you click this button, this set of data is automatically sent to the server even though you can't see it being sent because all of this is happening in the background. You can pretty much tamper or modify any data that the website on your browser is sending to its server. You will simply need to make use of intercepting tools like Burp Suite, for example. So while the website is sending data of the item like its ID, price, quantity, etc., you can simply modify this data and change these parameters to basically anything you like. For example, when you're buying an item which costs, let's say, 45 bucks, you can tamper its price parameter to 10 bucks since the parameter is sent from our browser, which we have total control of. But actually, this is not a real vulnerability of the website. The actual vulnerability is when websites don't cross-check the price parameter with the actual price of that item on their database server. Instead, they blindly send the user to the payment page. Or, wait, sending the user to the payment page without cross-checking the parameters is also fine but only if the seller's websites agreed on using Mac with their respective payment gateway. Message authentication code is basically a cryptographic algorithm which ensures data integrity. The whole idea of Mac is that both the seller and the payment gateway agrees on a shared secret key which is known only to the seller and the payment gateway and to no one else. So basically, the server of the seller is simply going to calculate a hash value by first appending all the parameters such as the item ID, price, quantity, discount, etc. and finally appends the shared secret key to this string. It then hashes this string with a hashing algorithm, for example, SHA-256 or MD5 or basically any hashing algorithm, so that the original form of the string which contains a secret key cannot be retrieved by the users of the website. It then sends this hash to the client or in other words, the browser. So when the user is being redirected, to the payment gateway website from the seller's website, he needs to pass this hash that is sent by the seller as one of the parameters. If he doesn't pass this hash parameter to the payment gateway, the payment will not be accepted. Alright, so let's consider the user has tampered this price parameter and changed it to something very less like let's say 10 bucks and then sends the parameters including the hash to the payment gateway. Now it's time for the payment gateways to check if the parameters are tampered. Since they know the shared secret key, they take all the parameters again like the item ID, price, quantity, etc. and then they append this shared secret key to the string and then uses the same hashing algorithm as used by the seller to hash the whole string. It finally compares this calculated hash with the hash received from the user's web browser. If the hashes match, it means that no parameters are tampered or modified. But if the hashes do not match, it means that the parameters are tampered and hence the payment will not be accepted, hence preventing the bad guys. But if a website that has online payments does not use this cryptographic function to integrate with their payment gateway, it is more likely that anyone can change the price to whatever they like and they can successfully cheat the seller and cause a financial damage to the same. And yes, there are websites that still has this vulnerability. 
and even i personally found a vulnerability in a government website basically i was able to tamper the price parameter without getting noticed by the payment gateway or the government website too which is very bad but disclaimer i did not use this vulnerability to cause any damage to the government website or anyone so i just found it and it slipped my mind eventually and when i checked back the same website again after a few days the website is not working at all anyways and hey guys a more practical demo video about payment gateway hacking is uploaded on my website so if you guys are interested you can visit my website at techraj156.com/videos and you can check out that video i recently found a very interesting article online it was about a payment gateway named payu the article was about how payu is vulnerable to data tampering Payu is one of the most reputed payment gateways in India and obviously it uses secure methods to preserve data integrity but it seems like there is a flaw in these secure methods too if you see here first of all all the details about the payment like the currency price quantity name are appended in a alphabetical order and then the secret key is appended and the whole thing is hashed but there is a problem here since all the parameters are appended one after the other like this they can be altered by making sure that the value of the whole string does not change in that case the hash value also would not change for example as mentioned in this article we can change the number of units to 19 and the unit price to 850 and we will still have the same string even though we have changed the parameters by doing this we can buy 19 units of the product for just 850 each remember that the original price of each item is 9850 but we are buying 19 items for just 850 each So simple mistakes in programming can lead to huge losses especially in this digital age where there are lots of payments happening on the internet and if you are a web developer you must take security seriously and follow secure programming so that your users stay secure so that is all for this video i hope you learned something new thanks for watching if you like this video don't forget to leave a thumbs up below and if you don't like it tell me why you didn't like this and you are free to leave a thumbs down below If you have any doubts regarding this video feel free to comment below and subscribe for more awesome videos I'll meet you in the next one thanks for watching again cheers